Hey everyone, it's Richard Metal Fan here, bringing you guys an old school album review. And today we're going to be looking into this album's 40 year anniversary, and it's a classic. And as you can see below the title, today we're going to be looking into Women and Children First by Van Halen, the band's third album released on March 26th, 1980, through Warner Brothers Records. Now, the year is 1980, and Van Halen isn't on top of the world. <laughs> see what I did there? They're, but they're still getting sort of like moment. Um, from like their first al two albums being Van the self-titled and Van Halen 2 and both of those albums have like a hard rock feel but still like very friend radio friendly ish kind of like songs like you really got me beautiful girls and dance all the night away day but I mean I still like them I still think probably my opinion the first album is the best but then once we turn over to the new decade after the late 70s we're now into 1980 yeah, I feel like with this album compared to like Van ha the self-titled and Van Halen 2, I feel like they kind of went more a, a bit experimental with this. And of course, like their next album being 1981's Fair Warning. While they sort of go back to their radio-friendly like, kind of like niche a bit, they also so have a couple of years of music that doesn't appear to be meant to have like a, be like almost like massive radio video hits, but still definitely rocks. And as far as like this album goes, there are still some truly awesome Van Halen classics on here. And despite this, there's also a few kind of eh, tracks, but the pros kind of like highly outweigh the cons resulting of this album. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's dive into this track by track. Now, starting things off is And the Cradle Will Rock, which has a sliding guitar intro. And this song is pretty much that starts the album off with a bang. And this is a very hard rocking track in the line so, so of like Ain't Talking About Love or Unchained familiar with sort of like Van Halen's other albums and the chorus is very catchy and the song itself is just very fun to listen to and the solo starts at blistering speed as expected since it's of course the great Eddie Van Halen <laughs> but it fades out suddenly which leaves the listener confused on the first listen and then it starts up again with Dave sort of like saying have you ever seen Junior's grades and the solo continues even stronger than it, than it was in the beginning a really great way to start off this album next up is everybody wants some now, I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me on this, but I don't find the song to be that good. The beginning is pretty cool, though, with Dave sort of like howling, Eddie playing sporadic guitar riffs, and Alex playing a unique drum beat. But then the song kicks in with sort of like weird lyrics and an okay chorus. And the solo is surprisingly not even been that good either, since it's just Eddie just playing different chords over and over again. again. Now, I'm not saying the song is bad, but it just doesn't really do it for me. Anyway, moving on to Fools. And this is another song that I personally am not a bit big fan of that a lot of other people like it's more of a bluesy song than anything else and it's very experimental as far as like Van Halen goes and the beginning is very slow and the song sort of like drags out for a long time which is like like five minute minutes and 54 seconds to be exact uh, then this does have some good guitar work and decent lyrics especially compared to like the last song but I feel like it would have been a lot better if it was a lot shorter at least in my opinion again not a bad song I just think it could have been better Anyway, moving on to Romeo Delight, which is just one of Van Halen's more heavier songs with its fast tempo and crunching riffs. It almost seems like a metal song, but it softens up in the verses, which are short by no means any bad. And after each verse, the chorus abruptly ends and comes in with the heavy E again. Again, being surprisingly catchy, and the solo is phenomenal, and the song softens up shortly after with sort of like Dave singing very quietly for about 30 seconds and then the song becomes heavy again even heavier than before and the extremely aggressive final chorus concludes the song amazingly and the song itself is in my opinion the truly highlight of the album anyway moving on to the next song on the album is just called Torah Torah which is a brief instrumental so this is surprisingly underwhelming compared to it's like usual instrumentals it isn't too bad it, I mean it sounds starts with some weird noises that remind me of like a spaceship landing followed by what sounds like to be a motorcycle revving and that comes in with the guitar and Dave screaming it leads to the next track well but as a whole it's not as good as it could have been anyway moving on to loss of control I and mean, this is probably the most experimental song on the album but, but one of the best it's even faster than Romeo delight and the riff is one of the coolest that Van Halen has had the song is then proceeding to the band members yelling into walkie-talkies, which is sort of weird but fun at the same time. And then the verse comes in with the lyrics coming almost too fast to understand. And the chorus isn't that great, but the rest of the song pretty much makes up for it. And the solo is top-notch, but a little short. I heard again like Romeo Delight, and it reaches the peak of aggression at the end of the song, which ends it strongly. And the only downside to this song is that it's very short, being only just over two and a half minutes. Anyway... 
take your whiskey home. Starts off with some acoustic guitar playing, which it seems like it's going to be a mellow song, but then it kicks in with a good electric guitar riff, which is quite heavy and fun. And the solo is very good too, with some very fast playing from Eddie, despite hate be being a bit short. Aside from that, the song is very unique, unique, but it's your standard rocking song that is far or above average and deserves to be recognized over some other songs on the album, and is a truly very underrated. Um, Could This Be Magic, which is unlike Whiskey, Take Your Whiskey Home. This song starts acoustic and stays acoustic, and this is one of the few Van Halen songs to do so, and the lyrics are a bit subpar, and the guitar isn't anything to write home about, but for whatever reason, it actually works well. And the song isn't really a highlight of the album, but it isn't as bad as some of the other songs on here. And I feel like Van Halen would put, I feel like if Van Halen were to put an acoustic song on every album, it would add a nice variety as it showcases here. And then, we, then we get to the last song on here, which is In a Simple Rhyme, which is a brilliant closer. And the song starts off with a clean guitar riff, and then the drums begin, and the song gets rather heavy. And this is one of the few love songs on the album, and the chorus is about as catchy as the one in and The Cradle Will Rock, which is another plus. And the song mellows, but after like the second chorus, and after the third chorus, which adds a bit good of diversity, and the solo sort of like sandwiches in between a rock, rock solid. Another cool thing about this song is that the song stops and it picks up again after a second with a much heavier guitar riff that lasts for about 15 seconds, and then it closes the album. But which I feel like it kind of like would be a sneak peek to what would become their next album, being Fair Warning, which is a little bit heavier. Now, overall, Women and Children first by Van Halen is a great album, but it's sort of like I feel like they kind of like experimented a lot more with this album here compared to like the f their first two albums. So if I were to give this album a score, I'm going to give Women and Children First by Van Halen probably a solid 8.5 out of 10. So yeah, that's my review of Van Halen wins album, guys. Let me know what you guys think about it, and I'll see you all in the next video. And as always, keep it metal.